what appeared to be a large engagement ring on the fourth finger of her left hand. The bobble sparked rumors that she and Ben Affleck had quietly gotten engaged. Four days later, she confirmed in her newsletter that she did, in fact, accept a marriage proposal from Ben, for the second time. After he popped the question with a unique silver engagement ring featuring a giant green gemstone. Engaged. On April 4th, paparazzi snapped Jennifer Lopez shopping for furniture in Los Angeles with her daughter, Emma Muniz, while wearing what appeared to be a large engagement ring on the fourth finger of her left hand. The bobble sparked rumors that she and Ben Affleck had quietly gotten engaged. Four days later, she confirmed in her newsletter that she did, in fact, accept a marriage proposal from Ben, for the second time. After he popped the question with a unique silver engagement ring featuring a giant green gemstone, Art Sand Sciences announced that Will will be banned for 10 years. He won't be able to attend any Academy events or programs, in person or virtually. In a letter, the Academy said, During our telecast, we did not adequately address the situation in the room. For this we are sorry. This was an opportunity for us to set an example for our guests, viewers, and our Academy family around the world, and we fell short, unprepared for the unprecedented. Chris was also thanked in the letter that announced, We want to express our deep gratitude to Mr. Rock for maintaining his composure under extraordinary circumstances. After the ban, Will said in a statement, I accept and respect the Academy's decision. The Academy has spoken. Will Smith will have a decade to think about slapping Chris Rock at the 2022 Oscars. On April 8, the Academy of Motion Pictures Arts and Sciences announced that Will will be banned for 10 years. He won't be able to attend any Academy events or programs, in person or virtually. In a letter, the Academy said, during our telecast, we did not adequately address the situation in the room. For this we are sorry. This was an opportunity for us to set an example for our guests, viewers, and our Academy family around the world, and we fell short, unprepared for the unprecedented. Chris was also thanked in the letter that announced, we want to express our deep gratitude to Mr. Rock for maintaining his composure under extraordinary circumstances. After the ban, Will said in a statement, I accept and respect the Academy's decision. Ever so telling finger on April 5th. Two day later, she and Beaumont's son confirmed he popped the question in Paris in late March. Avril shared a series of images from the March 27th engagement, showing the Eiffel Tower in the background, a violinist serenading them during a boat ride on the Seine, her heart shaped diamond ring and more, and wrote in French on Instagram, We oui. Je t'aime pour toujours, which translates to, I love you forever. Maud posted the same, images, the day we met I knew you were the one. Together forever till our days are done. I had a dream where I proposed in Paris. I pulled out a ring. Asked you to wear it, he captioned a series of engagement snaps. I was on one knee as I looked in your eyes. You're too beautiful for my words to describe. I grabbed your hand took one last breath. I said will you marry me? She said yes. I love you Avril. She said we. Oui. Avril Lavigne is engaged. The complicated singer first set off engagement rumors after she was photographed wearing a diamond on her ever so telling. Finger in April 5th. Two day later, she and Beaumont's son confirmed he popped the question in Paris in late March. Avril shared a series of images from the March 27 engagement, showing the Eiffel Tower in the background, a violinist serenading them during a boat ride on the Seine, her heart-shaped diamond, ring and more, and wrote in French on Instagram, We oui. Je t'aime pour toujours, which translates to, I love you forever. Maud posted the same images. The day we met I knew you were the one. Together forever till our days are done. I had a dream where I proposed in Paris. I pulled out a ring asked you to. Weary, he captioned a series of engagement snaps. I was on one knee as I looked in your eyes. You're too beautiful for my words to describe. I grabbed. Your hand took one last breath. I said will you marry me? She said yes. I love you Avril. Power up your business at Generator. Add Generator NZ. Slideshow continues on the next slide. Power up your business at Generator.
Ad Generator NZ. April 1. While on stage talking about once catching his father cheating, he shared, after that was out in the open, I was left alone feeling like a liar. Because I had a secret. One that I kept from my father, my mother, my family, my friends and you. Professionally, personally. And the secret is that I am. Gay, he said, as reported by Variety. Later in the show, she said he rebelled against his sexuality for years, explaining, I thought I'd never, ever comb out. At many points, I thought I'd rather die than confront the truth of that, to actually say it to people. Because I know it changes some people's perceptions of me. I can't control that. Sexuality reveal. Stand-up comedian and Neighbors actor Jared Carmichael came out out as gay in his HBO special Rothaniel, which debuted on April 1st. While on stage, talking about once catching his father cheating, he shared, after that was out in the open, I was left alone feeling like a liar, because I had a secret. 1. That I kept from my father, my mother, my family, my friends and you. Professionally, personally. And the secret is that I am gay, he said, as reported by Variety. Later in the show, she said he rebelled against his sexuality for years, explaining, I thought I'd never, ever come out. At many points, I thought I'd rather d than confront the truth of that, to actually say it to people. Because I know it changes some people's perceptions of me. I can't control that. Knife. My whole life I would say, I've always wanted my nose done, forever, she told interviewer Robin Roberts on an ABC special that aired on April 6. But it's in the middle of your face and it's scary to think about. But I finally got the courage, and I did it, and I love it. After the special aired, she told a fan on Twitter, I got it a couple weeks before, my daughter, True's first birthday, in early 2019. Love it. She also told another fan that the surgery was a breeze. Ellipsis. It honestly was so easy for me. My only regret is that I didn't do it sooner. She knows it. Khloe Kardashian has previously acknowledged getting a nose job. Now she's revealing the one regret she has about going under the knife. My whole life I. Woodsy, I've always wanted my nose done, forever, she told interviewer Robin Roberts on an ABC special that aired on April 6. But it's in the middle of. Your face and it's scary to think about. But I finally got the courage, and I did it, and I love it. After the special aired, she told a fan on Twitter, I got it a couple weeks before, my daughter, True's first birthday, in early 2019. Love it. She also told another fan that the surgery was a breeze. Ellipsis. It honestly was so easy for me. My only regret is that I didn't do it sooner. Telling fans. Well, I am writing a book at the moment and as it's actually healing and therapeutic, it's also hard bringing up past events in my life. I've never been able to express openly. I can only imagine that I do sound childish but I was extremely young with those events took place, and addressing it now. I am. Sure it seems irrelevant to most and I am completely aware of that. The long post also mentioned Brit's ex, Justin Timberlake, praising him briefly for the public apology he wrote to her and public image. My mom and sister also did the intellectual approach in indulgence by writing their own books as I couldn't even get a cup of coffee or drive my car or really anything, she continued. Book details. Britney Spears is ready to spill the tea. The singer took to Instagram on April 4th and confirmed reports that she's writing a memoir, telling fans, well, I am writing a book at the moment and as it's actually healing and therapeutic, it's also hard bringing up past events in my life. I've never been able to express openly. I can only imagine that I do sound childish but I was extremely young with those events took place, and addressing it now. I am sure it seems irrelevant to Miss Stand I am completely aware of that. The long post also mentioned Brit's ex, Justin Timberlake, praising him briefly for the public apology he wrote to her. And Janet Jackson after watching 2021's Framing Britney Spears documentary about her conservatorship battle and public image. My mom and sister also did the intellectual approach in indulgence by writing their own books as I couldn't even get a cup of coffee or drive my car or really anything, she continued. Hours after his performance at the Grammys, they even getting an Elvis impersonator to officiate. 
However, it turns out the couple never legally wed, as they had not applied for a wedding license. On April 6, the reality TV star confirmed she and her Blink-182 fiancé went to a 24-hour Vegas chapel after a little tequila and got faux married. Practice makes perfect, she wrote on Instagram. Faux wedding. On April 5, Kourtney Kardashian made headlines amid reports that she and Travis Barker got hitched at a Las Vegas wedding chapel a few hours after his performance at the Grammys, they even getting an Elvis impersonator to officiate. However, it turns out the couple never legally wed, as they had not applied for a wedding license. On April 6, the reality TV star confirmed she and her Blink-182 fiancé went to a 24-hour Vegas chapel after a little tequila and got faux married. Practice makes perfect, she wrote on Instagram. Comedian and recent Saturday Night Live host reveals he's gay in new comedy special, plus more celebs who came out. Wonderwall. Complications of pneumonia, a spokeswoman told The New York Times. Bobby, who sang hits like Wild One and Volare, was also known for starring opposite Anne Margaret in the 1963 movie Bye Bye Birdie. He also inspired Riddle High's name in the hit film Grease. He was 79. R.I.P. Former teen idol Bobby Riddle died on April 5, media outlets in his hometown of Philadelphia confirmed. His cause of death was complications of pneumonia, a spokeswoman told The New York Times. Bobby, who sang hits like Wild One and Volare, was also known for starring opposite Anne Margaret in the 1963 movie Bye Bye Birdie. He also inspired Riddle High's name in the hit film Grease. He was 79.